Want to see how to convert your two-seater ATV into a one-seater utility vehicle for around $100? Watch on Old Guy Rides. Hi. One of the problems with a two-seater is obviously there's a seat back here. And while it's comfortable for a passenger and really good to use, in fact, it's safer than putting a seat on a single vehicle because the wheelbase is not the same. It's longer on a two-seater, which makes it more stable. But the problem is when you got this seat here, then what do you do when you want to carry just cargo? Well, there's an answer for that that probably costs you around 100 bucks and will work great. Now, the first thing obviously you need to do is take the seat off. And I know for a lot of people, this is a problem. It's not really that hard to do. In fact, there's a little trick to it. Press down on the seat, pull up on the handle, and it comes right off. And then you just take the seat out. The whole unit comes out. There is some storage underneath here that you take the cushion off. It's not that easy to get to and really not worth it. But now you've got this big open area here. Not very good for storage. There's a big hole in here. So I'm going to show you what you can replace this with. Of course, you're around 100 bucks. To make this work, there are three things you need to buy. One of them you can buy at a big box store, very easy. The other two, Amazon probably. First is the rack itself. Uh, Titan. There are a number of different variations, but this particular one here, made of metal, nice sturdy piece. One piece comes like this, comes with some attachments that you don't really need. All right? And it costs uh, under $100. That is going to be placed on here. But before we do that, you need the second thing, also available on Amazon, these little lock and rides. Has a handle, strictly comes off easily. Put it into the lock and ride through here, put it down, and you've got that attached. I'm gonna show you how to do it. The other thing you need is I would get some weather stripping, rubber weather stripping to put along the metal contact pieces that'll be touching your ATV so that you don't scratch up the plastic. Not that it would, but it's a nice safety precaution and it costs you just a couple of dollars to buy it. So let's show you what we mean here. This is what we ordered on Amazon as the lock and ride. This is kind of key to the installation of the rack, all right? But it comes with this. We're gonna add a few things to it. Now, first of all, I'm gonna take this off. And one of the things that you should be doing is go get a nut that fits perfectly over the top here. And then after that, you put this on. I'll show you after we've done it. I need two hands. Okay, I placed the nut on here that we, we bought separately. Okay, just get one that has the exact fit. Now, when we go to put into the lock and ride, we're gonna tighten it down using that nut. Now, that'll compress this and give us enough room to put this on top and then use this on top to hold the rack in place. And I'll show you how it works on the unit itself. Now, as you can see, I've got all four of the lock and rides installed with the nut and the spacer. This is the last one. I'm going to use the handle to be able to push it in. And then I'm going to take the handle back off like this and simply then use the nut that is down there with a wrench and tighten it down. And that'll be actually locked into place. Now, this may be permanent, but the seat actually fits with no problem. These are not in the way. So I'm gonna leave them there. I can always take them off by doing exactly what I'm doing now, but that should be fine just the way it is, okay? Then I'll put the last spacer on here and we'll be good to go. Now with all four of these in place, the next thing to do is just to put the rack on top. Now I've added a little bit to the rack by getting a doormat from Home Depot, just a regular doormat, and then using uh, pull ties to put it in place and cutting it to size. I also cut it so that the openings where the lock and rides are gonna go line up just the way I expect them to. There we go. Now, once it's in place properly, it takes a little bit of maneuvering to get it where I want it. Perfect. Then I can just use the lock and rides with the spacers and lock this into place using all four of these.
So here's the finished product. Very simply, I added some bungee cords to help pull things on there. In adding that floor mat, it prevents things from sliding around. I've already put like a chainsaw on it and it didn't slide when I had the bungees on it. So in just a couple of minutes, I can go from having a two seater to more of a utility vehicle. And honestly, about 90% of the time I'll be using it as a util utility vehicle. So here's the rack in place. I'll put the links, everything I got was from uh, Amazon, other than a few little screws and spacers. And honestly, the cost of this was probably around $125 for everything. To have my two-seater quad be able to be used easily as a work quad.